Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for joining this event uh, by the Competition and Markets Authority, Algorithms and Harm Consumers. Uh, we have what I think is an excellent agenda for the next 90 minutes. My name is Stefan Hunt, and I set up and now lead the Data Technology and Analytics, or for short, Data Function at the CMA. I set up and oversee the Algorithms Programme that we're going to discuss today. The data unit is now a 40-strong team of technology advisors, data scientists, data engineers, and others. We're go, uh, growing, though, which creates some opportunities to join, uh, which I'll touch on briefly at the end of today's session. A bit about me and how we started our work on algorithms. My background is in economics, but also psychology. Uh, when I founded the unit, one experience stood out to me. I was using a well-known mapping app, and I found that I couldn't get, to, uh, get it to show me the shops that I would new in specific locations, despite trying really hard. Instead, it seemed to be promoting specific shops to me on the, on the map, personalized of its choosing. This, among other things, showed me that firms were personalizing experiences for us through algorithms in ways that had substantial effects on consumers. These effects are often positive. For example, the route finding through freely available apps is amazing. And we need to keep in mind the many large positive impacts of algorithms. But some of the effects can also be concerning. My intuition and the thinking of the team was and remains that there are also large harms to consumers from algorithms beyond collusion and beyond discrimination. We've been building the CMA's capability with algorithms. For example, right now, we're currently investigating firms' algorithms in our fake online reviews case. It became clear that we and others would benefit from our own map of the full array of potential harms from algorithms to competition and to consumers. So that, that is what the paper we published last week does. It's a map. For many areas, the map is a sketch and relatively crude, but the uh, paper aims to have fairly full coverage of the whole territory to help guide competition and consumer protection agencies in the identification of and the addressing of consumer harm. Now, the agenda of today of the session today to explore these algorithmic harms, which might be the most important ones, which techniques are needed to oversee algorithms, and what, more broadly, regulators can and should do. We begin with an introduction from the CMA CEO, Andrea Cascelli. Andrea has been Chief Executive or Acting Chief Executive since 2016. She's an economist by training with a PhD from Stanford and has been behind the technical tooling up of the CMA. I mean, if we step back and think about uh, an agency like the CMA, which is a, a national competition and consumer agency, it's very important for us, A, to understand what, what is going on, what is going on in the general economy, but certainly what is going on in terms of these new technologies, and, and also to be aware of potential issues and concerns that might require uh, a degree of intervention from us. So this is the reason, uh, as Stefan has, has mentioned, why we have invested quite substantially in this area uh, especially over the last couple of years with Stefan uh, coming on board and his team. And now we have more than uh, 40 specialists in, in the unit. And in many ways, it, it's work in progress. We are constantly uh, looking for, for new talent and new expertise uh, in this area. And, and the team of data scientists and data engineers and, and economists sitting in this uh, in this unit is uh, interacting very significantly with the rest of the CMA, with our lawyers, with our economists and the other functions, with all our other experts to make sure we take you know, a holistic approach to the potential potential concerns. So it's in this context that I think we should see the, the paper we published last week uh, and, and Kate is going to uh, say a few words about it uh, after me today, where we essentially are launching a program of work, a program of work um, in, into algorithms where it's very much about us trying to understand from, from, uh, from others what the potential issues might be, and, and certainly to, to become aware of, of, of particular applications that might be problematic. We are working currently with the UK government uh, to potentially develop a, a regulatory function within within the CMA, which is called the Digital Markets Unit. We published uh, a substantial piece of advice to the government just at the end of, of last year, uh, asking for potential new powers and new legislation to allow a more extensive set of ex-ante 
intervention ex ante regulations in the digital space. The UK government responded to our advice by essentially saying that uh, they, they would like to create this unit. Um, the unit will now be created in shadow form in the CMA uh, starting on the 1st of April of this year. And government has promised to legislate to give uh, these extra powers to, to the unit. So that's uh, an element of, of, of what we are doing. But at the same time, you know, Right now, we're looking into mergers in, 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 in the digital space. We're looking into antitrust cases, consumer protection cases, where algorithms are a key part of the analysis of the assessment that we're undertaking. So it's really important for us to increase our understanding across the board. So partially in this digital unit, partially in, in sort of Stefan's team, but also uh, across the whole of the of the CMA. So I would uh, like to conclude by making very clear to people on this call that we really welcome uh, intelligence uh, and, and advice from, from experts in this field. Um, we have published a call for, hopefully it will be very clear from that call for information that we are uh, very keen to hear from, from, from people in this field. Uh, so let me conclude by, by thanking the experts uh, on the panel. I think it's a very exciting group of experts. I personally am very, very interested in, 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 in listening to them and hearing what they have to say. Uh, Bill Kovacic is, is on our board, so I, 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 I know Bill well. Ari Letzraki obviously has done quite a lot of work in our field in competition over the years. And KT and, and Christo are excellent experts in the field. So. Thank you all very much, and I would like now to give the floor to, to Kate for, for a short summary of the key points from our paper before we open it up to, to the whole panel. Thank you very much.